In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about why there is no unity and it is a worthless uh, agenda to be a part of as far as trying to unite all black people. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm gonna say a lot in here to encourage you to go back and do some research. Oftentimes, you know, very naive black people, I'm gonna refer to as Israelites, descendants of the 12 tribes, you know, when you look at Western culture, there's always these people that want black unity. And the reason that you're not going to get that in the last days, the reason it hasn't happened is because the Most High has always had a problem with Israelites. Listen to what I'm saying. When the Israelites was in Egypt, they started learning all of these other ways and forsaked the ways of the Most High. That's why it says in Exodus 20, you know, Exodus 34, the Most High Yah pulled you out of the land of captivity, pulled you out of Egypt where you were enslaved to their people, their lifestyle. You know, there's a, a term you will read called Hellenistic Jews and that means people from the tribe of Yahuda, and through time they've translated that to Judah. And then the spinoff is the ultimate deception where they say Jews and you automatically think about Jewish. It's not the same thing. But in the Maccabean period, you had, you know, Israelites, a Semitic speaking people that when pressure was applied, they sold out and cut a covenant with the heathens. It's the same things like you have, I don't even push this stuff, righteousness, even on my own family. It's either the most high Yah is dealing with you or he is not. I'd rather be with uh, a Chinese person, uh, a Native American person that is trying to keep the commandments of the Most High Yah, keep his law statues, which is righteousness, everlasting righteousness. I'd rather be with people of the same mind and of the same faith than to be with people that are of the same skin complexion or same race and all of this transgression. Ah, so look at that. Ah, you almost bit me. Then over here we got some foosball. Got a little dining area out here. Corn pond out here. Got a little baby seat. Know what I'm saying? Kitchen where we be feasting at. Look at all this right here. Eating good. Living good. You know? This is the front. I mean, look at that. All, look at all of us out here. All, all of us Roman Catholic Jesuits out here living good. For this Roman Catholic Jesuit money getting paid to stop the awakening the Hebrew Israelite awakening this is the crib right here you want to make some real good money become a Roman Catholic Jesuit man or you can become an urban apologist start making videos against Hebrew Israelites and get paid because they finally done exposed us let y'all know that we've been getting paid and I just can't hide it anymore alright so go to the boss of boo you gotta holler at him if you want the money go to the roman catholic jesuit abu i'm gonna go ahead send y'all a picture to his youtube channel check it out subscribe to his channel send him a message put hashtag cia 
especially if you're an Israelite for Catholic Israelite Alliance. You know what I mean? Holla at him. Hashtag CIA. He gonna get you your check. Upload your first video. Just the Hebrew Israelites. You're gonna make the money. He's gonna send the check via wire. And you can live like this, man. Come on, man. What y'all doing? Come get some of this Roman Catholic Jesuit money, man. We ain't playing with y'all. Hey, yo, what's up? We out here on the beach, Fort Lauderdale Beach. Yeah, you know, the boss of Boo, he dropped us some bonus money, you know, especially on vocab alone. Shout out to you. You know, gave us a little bonus since that Richard Katz thing done popped up. So, you know, I got me a little bonus, a little something, something, because I've been sharing them videos. But yeah, we out here, you know, we popping water bottles. You know, we ignoring the models because, you know, we got wives and stuff like that. But yeah, man, if y'all want some of this money, man, look at all this right here. Come on, man. Come on, apologist today. Sign up. I'm on it. Yeah, Urban Apologist, man. You can live like this. Look at this money. It's good money out here. What y'all doing? These Roman Catholics, man, they're paying good bread right now. Because the, the movement is hot. I'm trying to stop the awakening. It's hot. Get some of this, man. Salute one. Okay, let me give you another one. Say, for instance, you try to get your family together as a black person. Man, we want to live off the land. We want to do that. Let me tell you something. The Most High Yah has always had a problem with his chosen people, you know, choosing the way of the world. So, say for instance, historically, when we look at the land that uh, early our ancestors had, here in this state, once they were free, a lot of black people had land. There was somebody from a younger generation or somebody in the family because of the, the, the land not being structured and us not knowing how to structure it, everybody in that family was an owner of that land. And if they applied pressure and got one person to crack and sign over that land, you lost the land. To this day, if you do that very same thing, you know, say for instance, you got land in a trust and you say, this is a black only thing, man, you're going to have somebody that gets a case of the ass, gets rebellious and is going to blow up the plan. And it's taken, uh, it's taken not only multiple family, but over hundreds of years to build, somebody will sell out when that pressure is applied. And this is where I lead you to King Antiochus. See, I don't even look for no politician, none of these black activists to change my life because the Most High Yah said, you are to be a doer of the word, not a hearer only deceiving yourself. The Most High Yah puts the onus on you. You see what I'm saying? I've, I've had experiences where I've told my family, I said, hey, man, let's get some land. We can be set apart. But one thing about it, Israelites, because they have been exposed to this materialistic worldly culture, they're selfish. You know, they don't know, they don't want to sacrifice for the betterment. It's all about what can I have? Me, 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 me. And this is why you see a lot of stuff consistently fail. Black people pull their money out of investments because they get selfish. You know, you will invest your money with these heathens for uh, 50 years and don't never uh, put no pressure on them, but you invest your money with your own people, all of a sudden, uh, your own people is doing you wrong. The Most High Yah's had a problem with this. You think about Judas. Man, Judas was about to sell out for some doggone silver. He, he did. And then once he doggone found out what he had done, he tried to go back and, and give it like it was a value. And this is why a lot of people don't even know why the Most High Yah your average black person, this anti-white people and all oh, they racist and they keeping me back. Man, I don't hear none of that. You know why? The, the Israelites were so rebellious. The men and women were so rebellious that the Most High Yah had to offer salvation to the Gentiles to make Israel jealous. And this is why like there's a song by Hezekiah 
that says, you're mad because the heathens worshiping your God. Listen to what I'm saying. I tell you, man, you know, if you can get the common mind as being united by the Ruach HaKodesh, not this damn religious spirit they didn't cooked up in these churches that they told you that the Most High Yah dwells. I tell you, man, if you got a black person in your family that claims to be religious, their religious, their religion is worthless if they are a Sunday worshiper. They have sold out to the heathens. They've sold out to the lawless. They teach the message that the law is done away with. This is why there's so much dysfunction when you try to unite. There is no order and no structure without the laws of the Most High. This is why you're going to have, uh, you might be trying to make sure you got a strong lineage. And then if you allow any and all of your family members out of here, you're going to have some of your family members that's raging homosexuals, raging lesbians, don't want deliverance. Even though biblically we see certain things, we see uh, demons can be casted out. They don't want it. They love the lifestyle. While you're trying to, pr 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 while you're trying to protect and promote life, you got these booty lovers in your family that want to go against that. And if we know anything, here we go. It started off historically, there wasn't a whole bunch of them when we talk about homosexuality but you let them get in the middle of something, that shit's gonna fall through. More and more people gonna start walking with a little twitch in their hips. This is why you can't have no unity. Without being of the same mind and the same spirit of the Most High. When you look at the disciples, the apostles didn't have no different faith than the Messiah, but you got all these different spinoffs. And this is where the division is, the unity you got to think, if you go back and read Revelations, it's only going to be 144,000 from, 144, from the tribes and then a third of an unknown number from the other nations. That's why the Most High Yah says, hey, if there's a sojourner amongst you and he's keeping the law, said you're supposed to treat him like a firstborn to Israel. Why? Because your own brother in Israel, your own bloodline Israelites, a lot of them ain't worth a damn. They'll sell out. The women will sell out. The men will sell out. That's why I say it. Let me tell you something. I didn't been I didn't been to these places where they teach Sunday sun worship, Nimrod worship, and it's complete lawlessness. It's people tickling your ears with fair speech, and ain't nobody keeping the law, statutes, and the commandments of the Most High. They ain't there telling you what you don't have to do, and that's done away, and this done away, and John Calvin this, and trinity that and the rapture man get that crap out of here get that crap out of here and this is why people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge people are destroyed you know you 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 the only people that you can trust are commandment keeping people law-abiding people people that don't reject the law it's a whole bunch of people praying in these religions but guess what the Most High Yah said, if you turn your ears away from hearing my law, your prayers is an abomination. So who's hearing their prayers? What deity are they praying to? You think the Most High Yah gonna make an exception for their lawlessness? No. That's what I'm telling you. This is why you can't, I don't get behind, I don't get behind these, these like I, I run and operate, my family, we operate a business. I don't lead with, we are a black owned business. No, because half of the damn people uh, that you, if you lead with that, it's your own people that's gonna cause you some doggone headaches and foolishness. I look for good customers. I do good business. I look for good customers. It's always, it's always uh, your own people that want something for nothing, but want the best service and want to make you. And this is why a lot of uh, uh, black-owned businesses don't survive. They always want a deal. And you got these other people, long as you provide a good business, man, they will pay, pay you on time. You know, I tell you, man, there's always, even biblically, there's always been an Israelite in modern day. I know people say, uh, nigga and Negro. I say ninja. There's always been a ninja that will always sell out when the pressure is applied, especially since the Maccabean period. I give you that much. I keep it that simple, that gun barrel raw. And this is why I've even tried this, like I said, man, with my own family, tried it with them. And, and 
you can say, hey, let me give you an example. You can say, hey, man, we can buy one acre of land. I don't know what the price of land is going for where you are, but out where I am, it's about 10 to 15 an acre. The more you buy, the cheaper it goes and you can get it all the way down to maybe 7,000 an acre if you're buying 50 plus acres, okay? You know, try this with your family and I'm gonna show you why there, 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 there can't be no unity amongst black people if they're not of the same Ruach HaKodesh, the same spirit of the Most High and, you know, law abiding, keeping his commandments, his precepts, his ordinances. I want you to try this. Now, you didn't have all these people in your family die and pay all this money for funerals. You know, ten to $15,000 for funerals. And you're paying for this little minuscule spot on a grave and giving the funeral homes all this money. You know, ask your family this, hey, let's come together. The next tax season, when it's tax refund time, let's get together 10 family members 15 family members and put together a thousand dollars a piece and buy one plot of land. An acre is a like when you live in the city and your mind has been conditioned to live like that, you don't understand how big an acre is. You could bury uh eight generations of a family on one acre, but you say, hey, let's get a thousand dollars together, let's buy our own plot of land. This is going to be the centralized location. When somebody ha when somebody dies in a family, they automatically go in there. We're not overpaying for this little, uh, you know, 12 by 5 plot of land. And watch. You would try to even do something as simple as that. Put it in a trust. And these, they, these ninjas don't even want to come together. They'd rather buy rims. They'd rather buy iPhones. They'd rather buy all this nonsense. See in my line. Try that right there. And that'll prove to you right then and there. Nope, there ain't gonna be no unity about the Ruach of the Most High Yah keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.